Hi, I'm Teresa Stern. Welcome to my studio. I'm an oil painter, so I really like having a dedicated space outside the home, and I call this my tiny but mighty studio. So I've put in place quite a few storage tricks to make my space work its hardest. So up here, I've got what I call the upper loft for larger canvases and shipping supplies, and I have the lower loft for more canvases and drawing folios. And then here behind the curtain, I have space for everything I don't know what to do with, or um, I have prints and cards and things like that in here. And then when I close the curtain, it looks all neat and tidy, which I like. And I use my wall space for a lot of things as well. I have exhibit space for when I have open houses. We have a couple times a year we have open houses here at Building C. These are some of my urban garden um, paintings. Um, I also use uh, the wall space for drying art and also, um, of course, as workspace. Here's my little mini lounge and my daughter. It's great to have a comfy spot in my studio to take a break or welcome guests or family. And over here is my large work table. I love this work table. It was built for me by my husband, who's also serving as the cameraman today. Uh, having a supportive family is essential. I have lots of storage underneath my table as well. Here's a bunch of paints, and I have um, more paints, and oil rags, and tools. I actually wind up doing a lot of kind of light manufacturing as an artist. Anywhere from stretching canvases, hanging, uh, putting hanging wire on the back, framing works. So having tools is essential, as well as a big work surface to spread out. I really couldn't make this space work without my multifunctional work table. So let me take you through my process. I often start with thumbnail sketches. Sometimes I create these outside in the plein air style, or I might create them here in the studio. And then I often work into larger sketches and even painted studies so I can finalize my composition and know where the darks and the lights are going to be. And here, let me show you the in progress painting. So, this is about maybe 80% done. I still have some fine tuning of the colors, but it's really starting to come together, so I'm very excited. And I'll definitely post. Um, the final um, piece when it's ready on my webpage and Instagram. And um, this was inspired by some fall hikes last year that I felt or found so re refreshing, um, and I wanted to make a painting about it. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to paint, for some reason, a forest in uh, just blues and yellows, rather than a kind of more local color of greens and yellows, and um, just kind of, I don't know, have fun with it. And so one thing that helps with that is my color map, which helps me translate the full color world into shades of blue and yellow. Then I have reference photos, and sometimes I even take photos of works in progress so that I can make notes on them about what is coming next in the painting. Here's another um, work in progress in the same limited palette series. Here's my handy dandy mobile paint cart. It has all my most used supplies, and it's on wheels, so I can move it around based on what I'm working on. In fact, a lot of my furniture is on wheels. That big work table, both my storage shelves, just for flexibility. So I have more storage, including my brush collection. As a painter, it's really easy to uh, collect a lot of brushes. I have you know, different scales of artwork, need different size of brushes, different shapes of brushes, make different marks. So you do wind up with, with quite a few brushes. Another, another work surface. And finally, I have a little mini art library at the studio. And that really wraps up my little tiny but mighty art studio tour. So thank you so much for coming, and I hope to see you in an art show soon.